at Perkins, I think what we've found with the Homebound program is that the impact is so great. It's really the impact for people disconnected from their communities. Folk Life Centers throughout New Jersey are sending artists into the homes of the homebound. It's a first of its kind program in the country created by the National Endowment for the Arts and the New Jersey State Council on the Arts. Queen Noor runs the Homebound Folk Arts Program at the Perkins Center for the Arts in Morristown, New Jersey. There are five folk life centers in the state of New Jersey. And the Homebound Program is being conducted through each one of the centers. So it's in Middlesex County, it's in Patterson, it's down South Jersey, it's in, in Wheaton, it's in Tuckerton. I am uh, an apprentice blacksmith. And we do it also from Perkins Center for the Arts. It is a phenomenal program. And then the different folk life centers, they offer different things. You have basket weaving, decoy making, Jewish paper making, folk art forms. So throughout the state, these art forms are being taken into homebound. And what we're really hoping is that we're a model for states across the country. And you know this. Ilvia Asal teaches Turkish lace making. I was born in Turkey and I learned from my grandmother and my grandmother and also the community, the woman does this uh, art form. Kelly Davis has MS and increasingly has difficulty leaving her home. It's not good. It's not good. I just have to find, you know, things like this to do to keep me able to do things and don't get depressed. And plus it helps my hands. It makes me be proud of something that I did myself. I accomplished something. I was able to take this little lace and able to make a necklace, make earrings. Art is the humanity and going their house and teaching, sharing, and it's so much meaning to me. In addition to running the Homebound Arts program at the Perkins Center, Queen Noor is one of the center's most in-demand folk artists. She is an internationally recognized storyteller. And the cat said, hey, we're gonna get in the game too. We're gonna run around too. And Miss Mary Lou, she said she was gonna be a fortune teller that day. And she had the cat right there with her. When she was walking by, she stopped me. And she uh, put her hand here and leaned her forehead against mine. And you know you make a difference. Miha Mahai and Mugu Radu, who are husband and wife, play folk art music, both from the country they come from, Romania, as well as American. They play a lot of uh, American folk art music. So we come in their houses and um, uh, we perform pretty much like um, traditional music. So we play Italian, traditional music, Mexican, Scottish, um, Romanian, right? So we have a diverse program. We perform for Mr. Stewart today and his friends and neighbors. This is, you know, it's the joy of life, just sharing music and touching their heart. I have chosen to care for my husband in our home. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's seven years ago, and his decline has been slow but consistent. These people are homebound. They cannot get out. They cannot move outside. And when you bring these instruments, they bring these sounds that touch their soul, it has an effect, it has a reaction. So we saw people crying, we saw people uh, don't want to let us go, do, we, do it one more time. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, this is a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. What I know through my walk through Alzheimer's with my husband is that so many basic functions 
are lost. Music is maintained. <laughs> Someone once said to me that he'll forget what I say, he'll forget what I do, but he'll never forget the way I make him feel. And I think it's the same way with music. If you talk to any of the artists that have been in this program, you'll hear them say that this is some of the most rewarding work that, I ever, that I've ever done. I've been storytelling for 26 years, and I've story told across the country, out of the country, in Africa, in, uh, in uh, Canada. This is some of the most heartwarming and most rewarding work that we're doing.